of examples. So we're going to select a card from a standard deck. Find the probability that the card is an ace or a ten. Now, it's going to start to become really important that you pay attention because, obviously, today we're doing addition rule. We're just doing addition rule, and so they're all going to say or. But after that, it might say or, it might say and, and it might say given. So you have to be really careful about what word is there um, to remember whether you're multiplying, adding, or just changing your overall population. So it's an or. These all will be because it's addition today, but... Um, we're going to define our two events, so we'll say that, just for the purposes of keeping them in the order that they're in, that this is going to be event A. It's an ace, and event B will be that it's a 10. Are these two things mutually exclusive? Yes. Yes, they're exclusive, which means that this is an easy problem, because all I have to do is find the probability of A. What's the probability that you draw an ace? from a standard deck. Four out of 52. Four out of 52. Which, uh, for the record, when I am multiplying, I reduce my um, probabilities. When I'm adding, I don't. Uh -huh. Because when you add fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So if you'll leave it with 52, it'll already be common. If I went ahead and reduced that to 1 13th, then I'm just going to have to Change it back to 52 in just a second. So, probability of there being a 10, of drawing a 10. Are we replacing the card? It is also 4 out of Oh, you know what? That's a really good question. Yes, we're replacing. They didn't say, but we are going to replace. Oh, actually, I'm, we're only pulling one card. So, we're two, it's, you're in your mind, oh, okay, 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 okay. you think of them as two separate yeah, 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 yeah. events. Like, I pulled okay. a card. So, but that was a good question. The probability of pulling a 10 is also 4 out of 52. So the probability of pulling an ace or a 10 is 4 out of 52 plus 4 out of 52, which is 8 out of 52. That I can simplify to 2 out of 13. And if you wanted to write that as a decimal, you could. Is everybody okay? Yeah. It's so easy when they're not over, when there's no overlap, when they're mutually exclusive. All right, example five, we are rolling a six-sided die. Find the probability that you, roll, that you roll a number less than five or an odd number. So we'll call this A, number less than five, and this B. All right, so um, are these things mutually exclusive? Um, no, because I could roll a 3, and a 3 is less than 5, and it's odd. Or I could roll a 1, and that's less than 3 or odd. So they are not mutually exclusive. They are inclusive. They can include each other. So that means we are going to have to consider the overlap. So let's see. The probability of A rolling a number less than 5. What's the probability? Now it says less than, not less than, or equal to. Just less than. Four over six. The probability of B, an odd number. Did we decide what was this exclusive or? They are not mutually exclusive because you can roll a number that's less than five and also odd. Okay. So. Like three, that's, yeah. what, that's what I thought. I was Which thinking. means I also have to find, because there's overlap, I have to find what the overlap is. So I have to find A intersect B. So now, right here is where I was telling David, you can, you can just straight up multiply these and get your overlap, or you can think about it in your head. What numbers are less than five and also odd? One and three. One and three, so two out of six. But we could also multiply these and get 12 out of, of 36, which simplifies also. So two one third, but I'm going to leave it as two out of six so that we have a common denominator. Because that makes my life a little easier. All right, so now when I'm doing probability of A or B, I have to subtract off the overlap. So I'm going to use probability of A plus probability of B minus the overlap. 
So that's going to be 4, 6 plus 3, 6 minus 2, 6, minus two, six which makes it 5, 6.